All right, let's give it up for all the performers tonight. Based on the student's need, 
and outstanding scholastic achievements. This year's recipient is Isaac Melendez. Is Isaac here? This year's recipient is a graduate of Bolingbrook High School. He's a current senior at, S at SIU in Biological Sciences and specializing in Biomedical Science. He has a 4.0 SIU GPA, and last year Isaac received the Dwayne C. Engler Scholarship in Biological Science. Isaac has volunteered with the Autism Society of Illinois, Keep Carbondale Beautiful, World Changers, and completed a mission trip to Guatemala through his church. At SIU, Isaac works with microbiology and zoology departments, and he's been on the dean's list every semester at SIU. <laughs> Some of the faculty within his major have said this, quote, Isaac is one of the most impressive students I've encountered in my 25 years at SIU. And another, quote, and it's, Isaac's an outstanding student and a well-balanced person. He's an avid volunteer for campus and community service activities, end quote. Pretty impressive. After graduating from SIU, Isaac plans to attend medical school. So please join me in saluting the winner of the 2016 Catherine Royal Scholarship Award, Isaac Lennon. It is now my distinct honor and special privilege to present the 2016 Service of Southern Award. Established by the Beta Delta Chapter of Theta Xi Fraternity, the Service of Southern Award continues to be the highest honor a student can receive on our campus for involvement in co-curricular activities. This award has been presented annually since 1948 to a graduating senior. Applic applicants can either graduate this past December or this coming May. Selection is made by a committee of members of faculty and staff and is based upon participation, achievement, and excellence of service in campus and community activities. Fraternal activities as well and residence hall or living area activities. Applicants, applicants do not have to be a member of fraternity or sorority. The $1,000 scholarship which accompanies the honor of being named Service of Southern recipient is made possible through the revenue generated from this variety show. As always, the selection process was extremely difficult for the committee. This year we have six finalists whose leadership and service contributions exemplify the true spirit of Southern Illinois University Carbondale. Through their campus leadership and service, the finalists who are being recognized tonight are present with their friends and family, and I will read their names in alphabetical order. And as I say their name, please stand to be recognized. And so if the house lights could turn on, so the audience can see them, that'd be great. And the, the finalists are um, Mustafa Abdullah. Mustafa, or MJ, he's a marketing major from Zion, Illinois. He's a member of Sigma Pi fraternity and a performer in tonight's show. Second finalist, Chantel Franklin, a political science major from Chicago, Illinois. And she's a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Third, Margaret McKenzie. Human Resources Management and Marketing Major from Frankfurt, Illinois. She's a member of Alpha Gamma Delta Women's Fraternity. She's also a performer in tonight's show. Fourth, Adrian Miller. Adrian is a Adrian's not here tonight. Um, Adrian's a December 2015 graduate of SIN Clinical Science, and he is from Carbon, Illinois. He is the former undergraduate student government president and former SIU student trustee. Alan Shelton. <laughs> Alan is a communication studies major from Homewood, Illinois. He's a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated, and he's our current SIU student trustee. 
In sixth, Rachel Slick. Rachel is a special award for Spanish language and cultural major from Rossville, Illinois. She's an executive board member for St. Jude Children's Research Hospital's Up Till Dawn. So let's give them all a round of applause. Before we announce your recipient, thank you again for all your service to your soon-to-be alma mater. All of you have left a lasting positive legacy for SIU. This is the 69th year of this award, and out of the 69 years, there were five years that three award winners were given, and 29 years that there were two award winners. In 1997 was the last time more than one award was given until this year. This year, there is a tie. And I am proud that Integrate Council has agreed to get two awards, and both recipients will receive a $1,000 scholarship. Our first recipient has demonstrated a commitment to volunteerism and community service through participation in the following. Keep Carbondale Beautiful, Special Olympics, Age Walk. This person has been recognized for achievements through numerous honors and awards, including Dean's List for seven semesters, Academic Honors Award through the College of Liberal Arts, SI Integrate Council New Member of the Year, John S. and Nancy Jackson Scholarship Award recipient, Inaugural Jean Hurley Simon Memorial Scholarship recipient, Bryson Resiliency Scholarship Award recipient, the Worfus and Meek Scholarship Award, African American Achievement Scholarship, Distinguished RSO Officer, NPHC Woman of the Year. In addition, recipient has excelled very active in a variety of campus activities and provided leadership in several RSOs, including Illinois Network for Women in Higher Education Conference and its Planning Committee, Minority Student Leadership Conference, University Housing Resident Assistant, Alexander Lane Intern Office of the Senate in Springfield, Undergraduate Student Government Senator and their Chief of Staff, SIU Homecoming Queen, and within her sorority, she's been National Membership Services Committee Co-Chair, Illinois State Facilitator, Chapter Vice President, Financial Secretary, and Parliamentarian. Our first recipient graduates in May, then plans on attending graduate school at Indiana University in Bloomington for a Master's of Public Administration. She is from Chicago, and with all this involvement, she'll graduate this semester with a degree in political science with a GPA of a 3.7. She's a member of Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated, so please congratulate Chantel. This year's recipient has been recognized for achievements through numerous honors and awards, including SI Chancellor Scholar, University Honors Program, Dean's List all four years at SIU, SI Student Ambassador to Taiwan, Undergraduate Research Forum Presenter, and Fitness Instructor of the Month. In addition, the recipient has excelled in a very active officer in a variety of student organizations. Conservation Partner for Center for English as a Second Language, Initiator of the Workout of the Day with Warriors for Military Veterans, Spanish Tutor and Translator, University Honors, and has been heavily involved with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital's Up Till Dawn fundraiser all four years, and an executive board member for three years, including two years as the executive director. So our second recipient graduates in May in 2016 with her degree in social work and Spanish language and culture. She's from Roscoe, Illinois. With all her involvement, she's a cumulative GPA of 3.9. She plans to attend graduate school at either University of Wisconsin-Madison or University of Illinois in Urbana-Champaign and study social work. So our second recipient is Rachel Slick.
I should say congratulations to both these ladies, but also the other finalists. I've had the opportunity to mentor all of them, and you're all incredible student leaders, and you've done so much for this university, and so much for me as well. And I just want to say um, thank you for a great show, uh, thank you SIU, and thank you to my Greek family. So have a good night. Thank you. From that time, he has received his bachelor's, master's, and doctorate from SIU, and served 18 and a half years as a professional staff member here. Many of us know him as our beloved coordinator of Virginians who are we Earlier this semester, Andy informed us that he received the Dean of Students position at Indiana State University. With proud yet sad feelings, the SIU community slowly started to accept the fact that Dr. Andy was leaving us. Within SIU, Andy received the Associate Dean of Students position last July. At that time, when the fraternity and sorority, sorority members had to walk one more building over to see him, we thought that was the most separation anxiety we would have. Last year, the Inner Greek Council started an award honoring Andy Morgan's constant engagement with our community called the Dr. Robert Andrew Morgan Engagement Award that will be given to an alumni who has maintained engagement with the FSL community since being an active member here. We wanted to remind you, Manny, that every year at Greek Awards, we will be remembering all the good you did and shining a, spot, a spotlight on your efforts here. After a few going away celebrations and many goodbyes, I think we can all agree that none of us have quite said enough thanks for the amount of good you have done here, not only in the FSL community, but all of us at you. You've been a mentor, friend, and coworker to thousands of people. You've given the confidence to quite a few of us to take on things that we never thought we could, and the guidance to be the best leaders we could be. So again, with a very proud but sad heart, we say, see you later, Andy Morgan. Once a salute, always a salute.
Sigma Pi, Sigma Kappa, and Sigma Pi. Sigma Pi, Sigma Kappa. For music, we have Alpha Gamma Delta, Phi Pi. For visual presentation, we have Sigma Pi, Sigma Kappa. <laughs> For best acting, we have Delta Zeta and Talk at the X. Sigma Pi, Sigma Pi. Okay, we are now moving into fourth, third, second, and overall winner. In fourth place, we have Alpha Gamma Delta, Phi Kappa Tau, and Kappa Alpha Order, Broadway. In third place, we have Delta Phi Epsilon, Alpha Sigma Phi, and Delta Phi Power. In second place, we have Delta Zeta and Tau Phi. 